I mean, as far as the, the, the psyche of the CEO is concerned, we're, we're also, I think many in India, uh, we've not had to take many of the painful decisions that many of the Western CEOs have had to take in the last two or three years. You know, we've not, by and large, have not had to lay off, you know, 50,000 people. <laughs> we've not had to, you know, slash union agreements and we've not had to, you know, uh, you know, t take a lot of those kind of decisions. It's not, it's not like, you know, you were doing, your business is okay, but the credit risk of your country is so high that suddenly the, the financing disappears on you without really your own fault. So, you know, as human beings, we are all, you know, product of the, our personal experiences. So, as CEOs, if we have not done these personally, uh, we, you know, we, we, I think that is one, one reason of the bullishness. On the other piece, uh, what Rajiv mentioned, definitely, you know, I, I come from an industry where I think often people get that revenue and, and bottom line thing wrong. So, <laughs> so um, but I, yeah, I think the pressure is really not so much on finding the next 10 million customers who will experience you, but to do it at the right, right cost and revenue where your margin doesn't get squeezed more and more. And, uh, and, and clearly there are enough pressures on that margin, but, uh, but if, if as, as we were discussing earlier, if you look at some of the, the one or two guys who have really performed off the charts in many of the industries, whether it is auto or telecom or airlines or wherever, are people who have been able to focus on bottom line more than that chase that headline, you know, top line numbers. So to